everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I've wanted to talk about for a while now but just haven't gotten to it and that is Disney's character warehouse. I'm going to be talking about what it is and not only what it is but what you need to know before going to character warehouse. So let's talk Disney. by what character warehouse is. So Disney's character warehouse is basically a discounted store that has two locations. So there's one in the Orlando Premium Vineland outlets and then there is one at the Orlando International Premium outlets. Now I've only ever been to the International Premium outlets once so this is more my take on the Vineland outlet store because like I said, the international one I've only been to once, so can't really say too much about that yet. So originally when I was gonna film this video, I was just gonna do a kind of like, come with me to the outlets and come with me to Character Warehouse, but they've really cracked down on filming and from what I've heard, they're not too fond of people filming in there anymore, specifically when it's busy, which is all the time now. So when I did my college program back in 2017, I used to go there all the time because there would be times where I'd go to Cast Connections and I wouldn't be able to find exactly what I was looking for, so I would go there in hopes to maybe find it. Because in a way, it's kind of like a Cast Connections, but you don't have to be a cast member. So my original plan since moving here was, you know, I'm gonna go to the outlets and I'm gonna go to Character Warehouse. So when we were here on vacation earlier in the year, we went and, or was it even, was that this year? I don't know, whenever I went last time. So, okay, that's when it was. It was when we were coming to look at houses here. So we were coming to look at houses and I wanted to stop by. So I stopped by the outlets and it was crowded. It's summer, there are a lot of people here. It's gonna be crowded. So I thought, okay, whatever. Well, I've been, I've been twice since I've moved here and it is crazy all the time. I think what's happened is with like the internet and vloggers and people talking about Character Warehouse, more people know about it now. Whereas before I feel like not that many people knew about it. So it's definitely become a bigger thing. A lot more people go and it's gotten to the point where now there's a line to get in the store. Like there's lines to get in these stores. Apparently in the mornings now, there's like a line and there's a sign on the door that tells you that basically they're gonna cap off at a certain point and they won't start letting more people in until they come out. I saw someone say it was a three hour wait. I think it was last Sunday morning and that was at the Vineland outlets. So yeah, so I went to the Vineland outlets, went to see, you know, what was good. I went in the late afternoon and everything was picked over. I have never in my life seen character, like seen character warehouse that empty as far as merchandise goes. There were tons of people there. You couldn't even move. I've never seen that store so crowded in my life. And the thing is it's September. We're in like the slow season or what's supposed to be the slow season for Disney. And the parks have kind of shown that. It hasn't been that crowded in the parks. So it's just making me wonder like why it's been so crowded. So that's one reason I wanted to make this video is to kind of just talk about the crowds and how it's gotten a lot crazier at Character Warehouse recently. So after my experience going to this one, I thought, you know, I've never been to the one that's closer to Universal, that's the Orlando International Premium Outlets. Why don't I go there and I see what that one's all about? Maybe it's just this Vineland one because it's so close to Disney is worse, you know, it's more crowded. So that is exactly what I did. And that one was just as bad, if not, worse than the other one. And I say that because it's smaller, so it was like the same amount of people, but shoved into like a more confined space. So it just, it was rough trying to get around. It, overall, they had pretty much the same thing. They did have more merchandise to choose from, and I went around the same time, so that it wasn't as picked over. But once again, same deal. There was roped off for a line. 
there was a sign on the door saying, you know, once we hit capacity, we have to stop letting people in, all this stuff. So it's been really crazy at the character warehouse. It's been wild. It, overall, they had pretty much the same thing. They did have more merchandise to choose from, and I went around the same time, so that it wasn't as picked over. But once again, same deal. There was roped off for a line. There was a sign on the door saying, you know, once we hit capacity, we have to stop letting people in, all this stuff. So it's been really crazy at the character warehouse. It's been wild. So now that I've kind of talked about my own experience, I should probably tell those of you who don't know exactly what Character Warehouse is, what it is. So like I said, there are two different shops and this store kind of gets overflow merch and merch that maybe isn't in season anymore. So for example, when Halloween is over, a lot of the leftover Halloween party merch will get put in to cast connections and the two character warehouse and these are at very discounted prices just the other day when i went i did buy one thing it was a um it had spaceship earth on it and figment and it was for the moonlight magic at epcot for this past year and it was just a t-shirt but i think the t-shirt was 35 dollars, and i paid 10 for it so just to kind of show you You'll get mugs for like five bucks. You'll get pins for four bucks. You'll get plush animals for 10. Shirts range anywhere, usually from 10 to 15. So very discounted, very cheap things, usually out of season. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes they just get an overflow of things that didn't sell. So if there is like a certain thing they thought would be a hit, like I've seen a lot of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge merch before in there, like not personally, but in videos. So things like that, probably just the design wasn't selling, so they decided to throw it in there. You get stuff from the cruise lines, so if you're on a Disney cruise or just want cruise line merchandise, they have that there. Um, they have some shoes, some bags, if you guys are aware of like, um, I can't remember what it's called, but the, I wanna say it's Diana and Nicole, but that doesn't sound right. Those like fashionable Disney purses that everybody has, not Dooney and Burks, but the, somewhat cheaper versions that have like Rapunzel's head. You could get, um, I think there's like a Dr. Facilier one. There's just like tons of different cute purses. They're discounted. You have uh, plates, sweatshirts. Actually come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, pretty sure I got this from Cast Connections, but I know that this was also a character warehouse a few years ago. So any Disney merchandise you can get there. So, which brings me to my next point. I know I've been saying it's really crowded because it is, it's crazy to get in there sometimes, but if you have the extra time on your vacation and you have a car or are open to Ubering off property, I highly recommend you look there before getting any merchandise. And you know, even if you want to get some merchandise from the parks, you could always go there to get gifts for others if you're visiting and want to pick up some gifts or Christmas gifts. It's really a good way to save money and they do have a lot of cute stuff. I wouldn't be able to tell you what's a good time to go because I used to go whenever because it didn't matter and there didn't used to be lines, but now there are crazy, crazy lines. So as far as that goes, I'm not really sure what advice to give you, but if you're watching this video and you know a good time to go to Cast Connections or you know a secret, or not Cast Connections, Character Warehouse, and you know a secret on when's a good time to go, how to get the best deals, please let me know because I want to go back, but it's so crowded all the time. So that is it for this video. I know it was kind of like weird, me rambling. And um, I guess before I go, I will say, if you are opting to go to one versus the other, go to the one on Vineland. I think overall the outlets of Vineland are better and that character warehouse is much larger so it can hold more people and they have more merchandise. So definitely check out Vineland first and maybe if you don't have any luck, go to International. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.